All right, let's learn a basic cinematic interview setup for beginners. And honestly, like I use this setup for basically every single interview that I've ever shown. How's it going? My name is Andrew Murphy from Down Under in Gold Coast, Australia. Now I know it can be quite daunting to first try an interview setup as a beginner, but today I'm gonna to show you a few different options to make your clients look amazing and it's gonna suit any budget as well. And if you do wanna pick up any of the products that I mentioned in this video, I'll leave a whole bunch of links down below so you can click down there and check them out. Plus stick around to the end and I'll show you how to get the cleanest audio to go with your perfect looking interview setup, no matter what camera you're using. So firstly, when we're getting set up for an interview, we need to kind of scout out the location that we have to find out the best angle for our talent to face and also the best angle for our camera to face as well. A good rule of thumb is to shoot into the L of the room or the corner of the room because what it does is it adds more depth, which helps us with that cinematic look. So looking around the room, I decided to go with this particular corner. Number one, because the light sources are behind the camera. And number two, because we already have this built-in light, which we can actually utilize, which I'll show you later on. Now as for the camera lens combo, I'm shooting on the Sigma 18 to 35mm f1.8 at 35mm, and it's on my Canon C70. And this has a crop factor of one and a half times. So that makes my focal length about 52 mm which is really great because it looks very natural and that's because our eyes basically see the same as the equivalent to like a 50 millimeter lens on a full frame camera. I set up the camera about eye level but I moved it down ever so slightly just because there was this gate in the background and I didn't want that to be in the shot. And I also composed the image to have myself on the left side of the image because I knew that during the interview that I set up, I'll be talking to someone off the right side of the camera. So I'm gonna be looking like this. And what it does is it gives what's, what we call breathing room in our image. So the frame isn't like right up here and we're looking off front. Now, if we look at the image with just natural light, it looks, it looks okay, it looks pretty boring, but, but we wanna give it that cinematic look. So it looks something like this. Now, the easiest way to make our image look more cinematic is to add more depth and to add more shape. A negative fill is the easiest and the cheapest way to do this. And it's essentially just a black bit of material. And what it does is it either absorbs light or it helps to block light. I'm using a Neewa two meter five in one reflector that I picked up for about 60 Australian dollars. And I'm facing the black side towards myself and bring it in as close as I can without it being in the actual shot itself. And I've hung it on a light stand with the base touching the bottom legs to just stop it from swiveling around. And this is helping in two ways. So number one, it's actually blocking some of the light that's coming from the light source on the right side of our camera. And number two, it's actually absorbing some of the light that's coming from the light source on the left of our camera that's bouncing back on that left side of my face. Now, if we compare these shots, we can see that my face now has a light and a dark side, which is adding shape and depth to the whole image. And honestly, if you can't afford lights, this is still a great way to get a basic cinematic interview setup. But what if we did have light? Then we can set one up to the left side of the camera where our main light source is coming from. I'm using a Nanlite FS150 with a 120 centimeter parabolic softbox, which is a really, really soft light. Essentially, the bigger the light source, the softer the light is gonna be. Now again, I added the main key light to the left of my camera, mainly because that's where that main light source is coming from, and I know it already looks good. I just wanna be able to control the light that's coming from that direction. And this is what we have with a light and a negative fill added. And it's already looking a ton better than just using natural light. Now I should mention as well that that main key light was only set to 19% because we don't want to overpower the image. We just want to balance it to the natural light that's already in the room. So it looks somewhat natural. And once we've set up that key light, we can actually experiment with a few different looks here. Now if this is looking a little bit too dramatic for you. Then what we can do is we can just take away that negative feel and it will bring that feel light back in. Or if you aren't lucky enough to have a light source on the right side of the camera as well, then we can actually just flip around the negative fill and use the silver side or even the white side. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna bounce a bit of light onto that fill side of our face to the fill in those shadows. Now this is looking really, really good, but if you wanna just take it to that next level, give it that proper cinematic feel, then we definitely have to add some color contrast. And as I mentioned earlier, I chose this particular corner of the room because of this exact light, which I knew had a warmer globe in it. So if we turn this on, we can see how it's adding yet again, another level of depth to our image. And then we can take it a step further and we can add a hair light that mimics the color of that practical light to help separate myself from the background even more. For this, I used a Nanlite Pavo Tube Mark II 6C with some Sydney foil to focus the light onto just my hair. Now let's just go through each of the different stages that we went through to get to this final look before I show you how to get the cleanest audio to go with your perfectly lit interview, no matter what camera you're shooting on. We started with all natural light, which looked 
pretty flat. Then we added in a negative fill to create a budget friendly interview setup that still looks good. Then we added in our key light combined with the negative fill to pop myself off the background a little bit more. Then for the final look, we added a warm practical light and a hair light to finish the cinematic interview setup off altogether. So now you know how to get a basic cinematic interview setup. How do we get the cleanest audio to go with it as well? And the best way to do this is to get your mic as close to the subject as you possibly can. In my case, I used a C stand, but you can also use a mic boom pole as well. And this allowed me to get the microphone literally centimeters away from my mouth, which removes a ton of echo and excess noise from the audio track. So essentially it's going to take the audio that would be on your camera that sounds like this, which is typically very echoey because it's so far away from your subject, to something that sounds like this, which is basically the mic's literally here. Like just out of frame, probably should have done that. So guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial, then consider liking and subscribing. And if you want to find out more about any of the products that I used in this video, I'll leave some links down below. And as always, stay creative and just be you. See ya. I can't. I'm too far away. All right, see you next time.